welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Dapper Gents. My name is Jeff. And I'm Fish. And today we are reviewing Realm NFT on the Wax Network. This is a pretty fun game. I've been very addicted to it since I started. <laughs> trying to build up different uh, buildings and buying leaders and getting helpers and that kind of thing. Yeah, right now I've just got, you know, I've got a mission going here. Uh, there's one that's open, but I just, I got, I had to wait a few minutes. I need some more resources. Need some more resources. So that I can grow some more uh, clones, I guess. <laughs> yeah, your helpers. Produce some more helpers, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go over the white paper. Yeah. So this is a resource management game where you strategically utilize your NFT leaders and helpers to save the world from devastation. Pretty fun. Um, I've enjoyed building, uh, you know, all my locations and yeah. Cause you've got Asia open, don't you? Yes. I just yeah. opened my second, right. um, I guess they're called what, uh, regions. regions yes. Yeah. I just opened my second region recently after probably three and a half, four days. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not too, too bad. I won't be far behind you. I'm level, you gotta be level five. Yeah. I've got like maybe three or four missions until I get Asia. It's so, not, not too far. Behind. Yeah, no, I'm not too far behind you at all. This game released in April of 2022 on wax. So not too old. Not at all. Uh -uh. Very young. Months, really. Yep. In your realm, you have leaders and helpers. There are currently 10 unique leaders, the general, the politician, the pacifist, the celebrity, the professional, the economist, the explorer, and the hacker. Oh, the scientist. And the scientist. And the architect. And, the architect. <laughs> and then when you first start the game, they give you two citizens down here that do not earn receive. A salary, yeah, right, do yeah. not earn a salary. So these are the leaders that you start out with. You can buy leader packs. They're all on Atomic Hub for different yeah. different costs, but you can buy leader packs. I think what twenty comes in a pack. Lowest listing priced ones are twenty bucks and you get twenty leader cards. So that's not terrible. It's a not dollar a leader. I mean, yeah, getting into it. Whereas most of the leaders individually are at least well, I mean the fifty cents for the one stars. But so that's your starter. Yeah, your starter, your very first guy. Now keep in mind that salary is going to be real low. You're not going to get a lot out of it. It's not going to produce a lot of realm. For and you. when he means real low, it's real, real, really low, real low. Uh, what is a one star? It's like point. Actually, I can look. Hold on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. here. Yeah. So a one star is point one. Point one three eight where a five star is 4.8 per hour and that depends and that's on level. at level three yeah so this is even lower usually to start with you might get point one so keep that in mind too because i mean the other guys aren't they're not too expensive i mean let's a five stars 20 bucks so you can buy one five star or you can get a pack and try and see if you can get a five star out of that right Oh, so also with leaders, you get, uh, each one of them has a different, like, ability down at the bottom that they do. So, like, if you're, if I've got the politician in my, like, region leader, so all the building costs are 10% less. Okay, and these are the helpers. There are currently 10. You have a doctor, assassin, police, soldier, farmer, lawyer, firefighter, engineer, surgeon and worker so what these helpers are for is whenever you go to a mission they increase the percentage chance of success at a mission to and pass you a can mission. right to pass a mission yeah. now you can have as many helpers as your leader that you pick for that mission can have on their on their team 
So when you go to mission, or so when you go to click on the mission, you go to the right. mission brief. So you select your leader. You select your leader, which has so, a team size. Which has a team size of twenty for this guy. So you can only add. So you can 20. only add twenty. See, I've got more assassins than what's there, and they're the plus for this type of mission. Okay. So. So how do we get these helpers? How do we get these leaders? I, I, from what I understand, there's two options. There's so, the store, and then right, there's, there's the store. Gun. And these are this is all the helpers. So you can buy it with their token with RLM. their token RLM, which you earn for off of having a leader in a region. Gotcha. So I'm getting four point eight from him, and it's four point eight per hour up there. So it's pretty neat. Yeah. With this team size being 20 and me not being able to have more than 20, I've only got a 50% chance of winning this match, right? So, I had a guy on a mission that was successful, so we'll claim that, get the experience and then the resources, and both the regional leader and the mission leader will gain some of that experience and go up. If I can leave that, now this one, I can click and do the mission brief and select him as a leader... And he can have forty of them. So your percent, your percentage from my of percent success is, is much way better. So yeah. we're at eighty-four percent. It's going to take twenty-four minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and send him on it. Because then I can come down here, and I don't have the firefighter, but the doctor is the next one, right? So the doctor's next next best thing. We can go and cancel this one, and put the doctor in here, training facility, and I'm just going to turn it on and let it go. I've already got 19 in there, so right now I can use one more with the pacifist, because he can only have 20, right? Right. Which I may not even do yet, because, I mean, I'm at 48, well, it's going to be a 50% chance yeah, with yet. the doctors. So I may not do it yet, but, like, that's the whole idea. Uh, you want to fill up the team size with every mission, because that's going to make your chance of success better. That's right. Now, if you do fail the requirements here go down. So it makes it easier to complete the mission. So you it basically you just rinse, repeat, keep keep finishing missions, you'll upgrade your stuff. That's where you get the ability to unlock the rest of these buildings and stuff like that, because you can spend it, your upgrades on your buildings and keep going from there. Yeah, that's awesome. I like it. It's a pretty cool process with, with what they have set up with the leaders and, oh, and the it, helpers. Yeah, and it uses, actually, whenever you send the helpers on the mission, it does use up those helpers. So you have to continuously train more ones to go on more missions. Yeah. So that's like another resource that you have to manage. So this is a very intensive resource management. Because yep. not only do you have how many helpers you have, how many you can train per second, how much housing you have for those at the time there. And then there's just all the other stuff. That's like, right. You know, one thing we didn't go over at the beginning was, you know, how these buildings, you know, get here. So whenever you first start mm, the game, that's right. You get, you're not going to have any buildings here at all. Yeah. You're just going to have pretty much a blank square. Yeah. You've got five squares that start out with it's these four here and the middle one. Right. So you do you drop your headquarters and it just tells you how many building locations you have basically. It provides access to the other buildings. So go ahead and build your resource place, your housing, right, and your factory. Well, you I would say factory is probably one of the big first ones cuz that's how you get resources that's to right. pay for the rest of it. Yeah. So factory is definitely a good thing to start with um, and then you're going to have to go from factory to like having the resource base and then making sure that you have enough helpers to actually go on missions and then housing. And then you can start doing like with the transport transport depot, which is what I'm upgrading right now. And that just increases your capacity for generating resources, but it only holds so much. And then this is another resource that you use for upgrading other things. And then just resources on resources on resources. <laughs> you know, I, I set mine up a little differently. Yeah. If we go over to mine, you know, I kind of put only one factory here. 
but you know how which I could you probably wanna... change because my thought was more resources quicker earlier, right? But after seeing, you know, I mean, I could just upgrade one of these and get <laughs> the same amount, right? So you know, your strategy is going to be how you know right, you think right. it's best for you and and your your way of doing that. So if we keep going through the white paper here, there's boosts that you can get for this game. Um, and basic, and those are just what time and. So if we go over to Atomic Hub, we can see the different kind of boosts they have. This is a salary rate boost card. Mm -hmm. They have other ones. Yeah, see, if you, there's also training cost reduced boost cards. Oh, okay. I got one for free. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. XP gain increase. Okay. Training. Yeah, so there's a couple different There's a kinds. couple different ones. Yeah, for sure. Reputation. And they're not that expensive. I mean, yeah, they're $1.25, you know. whatever. So once you get all your buildings up and going, you can come over here to the research lab. With the research lab, you'll be able to increase your explorer team size. You'll be able to speed up your mission time for the leaders, for the helpers. You can speed up the training. You can reduce the training costs. Uh, all spending your resources in the research center. You can go to the economy tab. You can click on increasing your max resource limit and housing. And if you continue to lock, unlock things, you'll be able to resource rate increase as well if you click on storage vault and then you click on upgrade you can go in here and increase your resource limit from each upgrade your training facility you can click on training and add the people you want to train oh well, your housing is full yeah Well, the technology center I haven't even used yeah. yet. Once you get the technology center, you can click on technology and give yourself some building cost boosts and building speed, as well as other things as you go and unlock. Once you get the transport depot, you can click on transport and upgrade each item in there to increase your production. The plane earns titanium and the truck earns resources i have not opened the ship yet i'm actually i'm two hours away from having it oh nice <laughs> yeah so that's going to be my next upgrade probably it's going to cost me three thousand did so you I'll see just do it now actually did you see where titanium is used so titanium is used for your technology, oh, in the technology stuff okay yep. okay so i'm over here getting titanium don't even know yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I think i'm gonna get rid of one of my resource thingies and just update the other ones or upgrade the other ones yeah, there you go so those are the different buildings that you can use uh the housing you know you can upgrade the housing as well get more people um because right now i'm maxed out on my helpers so i could upgrade my housing or i can go into here and go to a mission brief and see if i can't Build, yeah, there we go. We'll build this. I'll go to um, this guy and hit start mission. He can only handle 44 helpers. I've got 53. So we'll change this out for this one and just hit start. So that's how you start your missions. That's how you use your buildings. Um, go ahead and start collecting your RLM. So right now, Realm is having a team conflict event where they have placed everyone into a color team i'm green i got yellow you have yellow yeah so uh which is the two best teams right now oh are they they are in my number or green is oh, number okay. one and yellow okay, yeah, is number yeah. two i think that's pretty cool it gives you uh i've been playing these events you know trying to help the green team out as much as i can 51 I have 44 so we'll just take away and then contribute and now you're into the event 
the prize, they show you the prize right here. The three day RLM salary boost, which is pretty big. Yeah. 100%. Oh, everybody gets one anyway because everybody gets at least a 10%. Thing. Yeah, if you finish last, you get 10%. That's so. pretty cool. So, pretty cool. Why, yeah, why not and it participate if yeah. you're going to get at least a 10% just for sending one helper? Yep. I mean, and if you go to their Discord, you're they they divide you into your team so you can talk to your team oh, in Discord. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can join the green team, you know, Discord channel if you're on the green team. Okay. And, you know, that kind of thing. So, that's pretty neat. Now that we've gone through all that, where at, where are you at in this game now? What are you about to do? Um, right now I'm on the verge of getting to level five, which is so opening up another opening up another continent region. Yeah. Now if this guy succeeds, which I'm hope I'm thinking he will, because I'm pretty sure I sent forty assassins with him. Oh sweet! But uh, so in about two minutes here, this is supposed to open up. All right, I'll so let's Asia. So let's do some YouTube magic. Yeah. We're done. Power of YouTube. I love it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and claim that. And look, we've reached level five. Perfect. Oh, and hey. Wow. And okay. those are your rewards for gaining a different level. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, whilst we were performing YouTube magic, uh, oh, it's 100 RLM to open it to? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sure. So now we have Asia unlocked. Do -do -do. Cool. So my efforts will spread further. Build a headquarters. So, see, there's your four spots that you get for building a headquarters when you start a region. Now you have to select a leader. And as I was saying, during the YouTube magic, I went and got another leader so now we have the explorer in here doing 5.3 an hour and basically i want to go ahead and upgrade that yeah i think i'll go ahead and set that to upgrade and we will go ahead and get training going because we're gonna need it we will do a factory and a storage vault because we'll need both of those also. Ooh, that's going to take an hour. And I don't have a whole lot of resources left. That's a minute. Only one upgrade. In a, okay. You can only have one upgrade at a time. One, yeah, one building, building upgrading yeah. at a time. Yeah, so basically that's my first move into Asia. And so from there, I can click on and do just like in the other ones. I pick, you know, I'll pick the leader that wants to go on it and however many I need to go. Now, I'm not going to do that because I feel like I'd be wasting helpers. Yeah, and that stuff, would not so. be good. So we'll wait until some <laughs> of the stuff keeps upgrading and all that. And then we'll we'll keep going. Well, there's 117. Take, so pretty yeah. cool. So yeah. I'm going to switch over to me and give you a little rundown of what I've done. Um, I started out with a smaller salary earning card, and then I went back later and bought a five star leader because they just make a lot more. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Huge difference. So I started with every building they have, and then I just added an extra storage vault because you need a lot of resources. Yeah. So I've came. Come here, I've unlocked this section over here. Um, these are my NFTs. These are my leaders so far. Uh, these are how many helpers I started with. I believe you could start with doctor, police, and lawyer. I think those three would be a good starting point. They seem to be used the most. And then from there, that's when I, I reached out to the soldier and the assassin. And then I just finally bought Surgeon Last okay. to help the doctor in those situations. Right, because I think Earthquake is the one that really has the surgeon. Yeah. Like, because there's different, obviously there's different... Uh, missions. Mission types. Yeah. And so they helpers help differently in different missions. It's like right. there's one on mine now that's countries at war. The preferred helper is the soldier. 
Right. And then, so, like this one, the preferred helper is the, the doctor. doctor. Right. So, so the doctor you, gives you that plus plus. That gives you the more chances of success. Right. Ooh, 2.5. And then the surgeon has one plus, so that's right. going to give you... It's better than, obviously, nothing or a negative. Right. So I have one mission that I've completed. I'm going to claim that. One thing that I did have not done yet is I have not taken... I have not absorbed a leader into another leader. So let's do it now. Sure. All right. So I'm going to absorb the hacker into the scientist. I'm going to gain 10,000 experience, and it's going to cost me 100 RLM. So the leader will be burnt in the process, and any equipment will be removed. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Approve. All right, your leader has gained 10,000 experience. Mm. Okay. So if I want to do this guy here, I'm going to upgrade up to up my general. I'm going to pick pacifist. So he'll get 10,000 experience. So right now he needs five. It looks like 5,345 remaining to get to level four. So let's see if that pushes him to level four. And it shows. Oh, it does show it right here. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it does. So. Do that. Gain the 10,000 experience. And yeah, level four with 10K left. So his salary and his team size went up. That's awesome. So now he can take. Oof. Refresh that again because <laughs> the pacifist was still there. <laughs> So that's awesome. Whenever you buy those packs that have twenty leaders, yeah, you in can it. make them. You can level them up quicker together. That's awesome. By built, yeah, merging them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, fifty-three team size now, where it was forty-two. That's pretty neat. So now he's even better. So now, since I've got seventy total here, I can send fifty helpers with him per mission. Fifty-three helpers with him per mission. So that's going to increase my chances of success quite a bit. So. Love that aspect. Really cool. So I brought up my tablet. Installed the game. And here it is. All right. And once you're logged in on your tablet or phone. Looks just the same. It looks just the same. Complete. It is. It's. It's great. I mean, it, 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 it's seamless across the two of them. It plays exactly the same. It looks the same. It acts the same. I'm very, very impressed with this aspect of it. Right. I can pull up the same game across multiple different devices, mm -hmm. and it's all the same stuff. With no problem. So this is my tablet right now. There's my things down at the bottom here. Mm-hmm really neat I'll be playing this in the computer you know on my computer in the office and I will take you know and go sit down on the couch yeah pull out the phone or pull out the tablet yep. and go right back to it click on things and mm -hmm. stuff like that it's great yep. even at work like I'll pull it up on my phone just to get a little bit of time in there every, every once yeah. in a while just to click, you know, the resources and grab those. and Right. So it's really neat. I definitely wanted to show this aspect of it. You know, all in all, it's a great game. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I like resource management games. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm definitely going to continue playing this game. Yeah, it's fun. Regardless. Um, I love the aspect, like I said, of, of being able to... Pull this game up on my tablet, on my phone, mm -hmm. standing in line at Walmart or... Right, and send some folks on a couple missions, upgrade a few buildings, put it back in my pocket, we're done. Yeah, yeah. I love that aspect of it. Artwork's great. I love the, uh, the spinning world. It's very satisfying to sit here and spin the world around. <laughs> <laughs> 
And this is my tablet here. I'm spinning around. And go over to. Um, oh yeah, that's me. Justin's PC. He's spinning around. Yeah. Oh, I will say also, if you happen to have an i5, uh, make sure your browser has hardware acceleration turned on. <laughs> yeah, that, Cause that was because like for the last the the amount of time that we played this, I've played it exclusively on my phone because you know. Dummy me didn't have acceleration turned on, and I was getting like f six frames per sec per, per minute or something like that per second. That's bad. It was bad. It wasn't good. It was unplayable. So like I exclusively have been playing this on my phone. But after hitting that, this is it'll be on my computer that I play it probably more than anything else. Yeah, it's that's a lot of fun. Nice clicker. Resource manager. Well, all right, guys, we appreciate you sticking around and visiting Realm NFT with us. We hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it today. You can give us a follow and like over at Twitter, like this video as well. We definitely appreciate it. Give us a subscribe if you uh, haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube. We'd appreciate it. Helps out the, uh, the old algorithm there. <laughs> For sure. What is uh, Bitcoin at? Currently, we are at 21,431. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. Take care.